Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this quiz website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created the design using HTML and CSS. And this is how the result screen looks. Let's go back to our code. And I'll just display the quiz screen. And for the result screen, I'll just set the display to none. So here we have the quiz screen. So this is what we had designed in the previous video. Now in this video, we will start adding the functionality using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here is our original design. And for now, I have just disabled the timer. So we're going to focus on all the other things. And in the end, we will add the timer. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to display all these questions and options from a JavaScript array of objects. And the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to go to the next question when we click on this next button. And uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to calculate which of these is the correct answer. And when we click on one of these options, we need to display whether the answer is correct or not. And once we have clicked on one of these options, we should not be able to change the answer. And if we click on the next button, we have the next question. And if we click on the correct answer, we should have the green background color and uh, we should not be able to change the option over here as well. And we can click on the next button to go to the next question. And uh, then we have the next question. And uh, now we can see at the end, we have the results screen. And here we can see it says we have scored one out of five. And here we have the answer of the user and also the correct answer displayed. And when we have the correct answer, it has this white background color. And when we have the wrong answer, it has this red background color. And then we have the option of retaking the quiz. So you can just click on this button called retake quiz. And here we have the quiz started all over again. And then in the end, we'll also add the functionality of this timer. So let's get started. Right here, we have the source code. And the first thing we will do is uh, we will create an array of objects for all the questions and the options and also the correct answer. So you can go ahead and create an array. So let's name it quiz data. And let's create an array. And in this, we need to have objects. So in the object, we need to have the question. So here we can see we have the question and we need to have the options and also the correct answer. So we can just type question and here we can add the question and then we need to add the options and we need to have four options. So we can just create an array and here in this array, we can add all the four options. So we can just add the first option over here and then we can add a comma and add the second option and the third and the fourth options. And then in the end, we need to have the correct answer. So we can just type correct and here we can just add the correct answer. So this is basically the first question. Now in this way, we need to create all the questions that we need. So I'll just quickly go ahead and copy and paste the questions that I have. All right, so here I have copied and pasted all these questions and options and the correct answer. So here we have this quiz data and we have all these questions over here. All right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a function to display the questions. So we'll create a function called create question. And uh, let's create the function over here. So I'll just type const create question. Right now, before proceeding with our create question function, let's go ahead and reference some of these elements from the HTML. So we need to reference the quiz container because we need to hide and show the quiz container. And then we also need to reference the quiz result because we need to hide and display this as well. And then we need to reference the next BTN. And then we need to reference the options and also the question. So let's go ahead and reference all of these elements. So here, I'll just type const quiz container equals document dot query selector. And here let's type quiz container. And then let's reference the question. So let's type question equals document dot query selector. And the question is inside the quiz container. And we have this class of question. So let's type quiz container question. Right now, let's type const options equals document dot query selector quiz container. And we have 
this division with the class of options and then let's type const next btn equals document dot query selector quiz container next btn because here we can see we have this class of next btn and then lastly let's also reference quiz result so let's type const quiz result equals document dot query selector quiz result right now let's go ahead and create a variable for the question number so let's type let question number equals and uh, by default we will set it to zero right so now let's go ahead and uh, delete this question from here from the html and now we can see that the question is not being displayed now we need to display the question from this uh, javascript array so here let's go ahead and type question dot inner html equals quiz data which is the name of this array and we need to get the question which is inside this array and for the index we will pass this question number so here let's type question number dot question and now we can see that the question is being displayed over here so this is the first question now if you want to display the second question we can just change this question number so if we just type one now we can see that the second question is being displayed over here so we have the second question so we will start with question number set to zero right now let's go ahead and display the options so we need to loop through all these options and we need to create this button with a class of option and we need to add the value over here so let's do that let's type quiz data question number dot options dot for each and for each of the option i'll just call it o and let's create an arrow function and the first thing we need to do is we need to create this option so we need to create a button with a class of option so let's type const option equals document dot create element and let's type button and uh, we need to add a class of options so let's type option dot class list dot add option and let's type option dot inner html and uh, here we need to add the content of the option so we are calling it o so let's type o over here and we need to add this option to the options so here we can see we have the options so let's type options dot append child and here let's type option and now if you go back here we can see that the options are displayed over here but we also have these uh, options from the html that we added earlier displayed over here so let's go back and let's remove all of this and now we can see we have the option of the question displayed over here so let's go ahead and uh, let's change the question so let's select question number three and now we can see that the question and the options are displayed over here right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will display these options uh, randomly so we don't want to display these options in the same order every time so for that let's create a function so let's create a function called shuffle array and we'll just get an array and uh, we will go ahead and uh, randomize the array over here so let's type return and here let's type array dot slice and here we need to type sort and in here we need to add a compare function so you can type arrow function math dot random minus 0 0.5 so this is basically a quick way of shuffling all the items inside the array now we can pass any array to this function and it will give us a shuffled array so let's go ahead and do that first of all for the quiz data array so that all these questions are mixed up before displaying it so here for the question number i'll just set it to zero and uh, here let's type quiz data equals shuffle array and here we'll pass the quiz data and now let's save this and let's go back and now if we refresh this page we can see that we have different question displayed every time so the array is shuffled before calling the function now let's shuffle these options so for that let's go ahead and uh, here let's type const shuffled options equals shuffle array and here let's type quiz data question number 
which is the current question and here let's tap options and now here instead of looping through these options from the quiz data question number we just loop through this shuffled options because we have shuffled all the options inside the current question over here so let's tap shuffled options dot for each and now let's see whether the options are shuffled so for now i just go ahead and comment this shuffling of the quiz data and now if we see we can see that we have beijing at the beginning now if we refresh this page we can see that it is now the second option so every time we refresh this page the options are shuffled so now let's go back and uncomment this now let's also go ahead and add the functionality of this next button so let's add an event listener to this next btn so let's tap next btn dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and we'll create a function called display next question and uh, let's create the function over here so let's tap const display next question now here the first thing we need to do is we need to check whether the question number is greater than the maximum number of questions that we need in the quiz so here let's also create a const and let's type max questions and let's set it to 5 so here let's add an if condition and let's type question number and let's see whether it is greater than or equal to max questions minus 1 because arrays start from zero so if you are on the last question we need to display the result so for that we'll just create a function called display quiz result and for now i'll just go ahead and set the display to flex for this uh, quiz result so here we can see we have already referenced this so let's create a function called display quiz result and for now i'll just go ahead and type quiz result dot style dot display equals flex and we need to set the display of the quiz container to none so let's type quiz container dot style dot display equals none now we need to add more logic over here but we will do that later and here after that we'll just return from this function now if this is not true then let's go ahead and increment the question number by one so let's type question number plus plus and then we will call the create question function so let's type create question and let's see whether this works so let's go back and here we have the first question displayed and let's click on the next button and we have the second question displayed but here we also have the options of the previous question displayed so let's go back and here inside this create question function let's type options dot inner html and we will set it to blank at the beginning so let's start over so here we have the first question let's click on next we have the second question then we have the third question we have the fourth question and then we have the fifth question let's click on next and now we can see we have the result screen displayed over here all right so we'll just stop it here in this video We'll continue adding the functionality in the next video. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.